Come hither, you and Cameron, come stand beside my knee. I hear the river roaring down towards the wintry sea. There's shouting on the mountain side, there's war within the blast. All faces look upon me, all forms go trooping past. I hear the peabrock wailing amidst the din of fight. And my dim spirit wakes again upon the verge of night. Twas I that led the Highland host through wild Loch Abbas snows. What time the plaided clans came down to battle with Montrose. I've told thee how the southerners fell beneath the broad clay moor, and how we smote the Campbell clan by Inverlochy shore. I've told thee how we swept Dundee and tamed the Lindsay's pride, but never have I told ye yet how the great Marquis died. A traitor sold him to his foes, O oh, deed of deathless shame, I charge thee, boy, if thee thou meet with one of Ascent's name, be it upon the mountain side or yet within the glen, face him as thou would face the man and strike the cutlass down. They brought him to the water gate, hard bound with hemp and spans, as though they held a lion there and not a fenceless man. They set him high upon a cart, the hangman rode below. They drew his hands behind his back and bared his noble brow. Then as a hound is slipped from leash, they cheer the common throng, and blew the note with yell and shout, and bade him pass along. It would have made a brave man's heart grow sad and sick that day. To watch the keen malignant eyes Bend down on that array. There stood the Whig West Country Lords In balcony and bowl. They sought their gaunt and withered dames, Their daughters all a-row. And every open window Was full as full might be, With black robe coven and calls that goodly sport to see. But when he came through pale and wan, he looked so great and high, so noble was his manly front, so calm his steadfast eye, the rabble rout forbore to shout, and each man held his breath. For well they knew the hero's soul was face to face with death. And then a mournful shudder through all the people crept, and some that came to scoff at him now turned aside and wept. But onwards, always onwards, in silence and in gloom, the dreary pageant laboured, Till it reached the house of doom. Then first the woman's voice was heard, In jeer and laughter loud, And a angry cry, And a hiss arose, From the heart of the tossing crowd. Then as the Graham looked upward, he saw the ugly smile of him who sold his king for gold, the master fiend Argyle. He is coming, he is coming like a bridegroom from his room. 
Came the hero from his prison to the scaffold and the doom. There was glory on his forehead, there was luster in his eye, and he never walked to battle more proudly than to die. Had I been there with sword in hand and fifty Camerons by, that day through high the need and street had paled the slogan cry. Not all the troops of trampling horse, nor might of mailed men, not all the rebels in the south had borne us backward then.